You ready to eat lunch? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. You ready to eat lunch? Yes. Say, give me the camera. Say, give me the camera on me. <laughs> Hi guys, long time no see. Well, has it? It's been about a week. It's been about a week, but. <sighs> Kenzie, I'm getting your apple. You guys, it has been super crazy. Let me set y'all over here. Well, over here. <laughs> set y'all up here. So, hold on, Ken. I'm cutting up her apple and she was like not even having it but life has been super crazy the past week and a half like for real that's why i haven't been doing much vlogging um yeah like most of you know i started taking this course and so that's pretty much monday through monday through thursday from like nine to, it's supposed to be till 10 30 but we usually go to about 11 11 15. And then, um, I don't think I told y'all this, but I'm pretty sure he'll be in a vlog, so I might as well. So my cousin is relocating from Maryland, and so he is down here with us for the next like month and a half. He's staying with us, and then, um, Mackenzie, hold on, babe. I'm getting it. Thank you. Um. So yeah, um, his family and then the rest of his his uh, family, his wife and kids, they'll be down the end of June because they don't get out there in Maryland, so they don't get out of school till the end. And so we've been looking for places for them to stay, and just life, man, for real. Life. Sorry guys, the camera had um went dead on me, but so yeah, just life, and then you know moving into the house, it's just been crazy, and so vlogging has not been in the card. Sorry, I don't even know if that was clear. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, vlogging just has really not been in the cards this past week. <laughs> I have been thinking about y'all, though, for real, for real. Um, so, I think I'm life is starting to settle down somewhat. Um, so, we're back. We're back at it. <laughs> not that we really stopped, but really back at it. And then, I did not vlog. So, Mother's Day was this past weekend. I met up with um, another YouTuber. Um, her name is Mart. Ah, oh shoot, y'all. Her name is Martina. Um, it's Martina Chante. I'll I'll put her YouTube page name up here, Mackenzie. Like for real, man. Um, and we talked, and it was like super crazy, y'all, because this was the first time we met in person. But we were like, it. We clicked. We clicked, and it wasn't like awkward or anything like. And I thank God for connections like that because, you know, especially as mothers and as wives and most importantly as believers, it's so important to connect with people. And so I'm learning to be more intentional about trying to connect with people. And so she was awesome. Like just got to encourage each other and just vent somewhat. <laughs> um, so I met up with her. Huh. I met up with her. And then um, today, we have some friends. They're coming down from Maryland, not specifically to see us, because one of, it's actually Mackenzie's godparents. Um, they're coming down, and her god, their god brother, well, the god brother, and um, she went to Spelman, so they have like their 10 year class reunion, so she's coming down for that, and then her husband, just like, you know, I'm coming along too, so. So are super excited for him to be here as well so they're probably here now but she said they probably stopped some other places before they come here so yeah just life has just been happening y'all but i'm grateful i'm learning a lot right now in the season that i'm in and yeah it's crazy like i've really been watching a lot of videos um about the armor of god and how to fight more effectively against things that you know oppose 
whether it's my family, whether it's my friends, whether it's just me in general, and becoming more aware of really what's going on and that the reality that I'm in is not the most like important reality. Like there's a spiritual reality that I have to address because I feel like I've been fighting a lot of things incorrectly and not effectively. And so I've really been like, just trying to hone in into the word and studying Ephesians chapter six and just thinking about the armor of God and trying to intentionally make sure that I'm focused on things that matter. And so I actually also got to meet, uh, I went to go visit um, this uh, one of the girls from the church. She just had her second baby. Um, and so that was another time of encouragement because we just got to talk. We just got to talk and it was just like confirming a lot of things as far as like spiritually where I'm at and where I want to be and how God is humbling me now and how he is teaching me and just everything like it's like it's for real for real crazy and it hurts it ain't all it don't always feel easy but I can tell it's absolutely necessary and she uh, recommended a book to me and she let me actually borrow it and it's called fervent it's um by Priscilla Shire and so I've started reading that this morning and it's already good. It's focusing on um, prayer, the importance of prayer and how to effectively pray. So I'm pray. I'm so I'm excited to really get into that. But yeah, so just to say all of that, just life has been cray cray and <laughs> it's I feel like it's just now like starting to level out where I can pick up the camera and talk to you guys. So just a lot has been going on. But I'm grateful because there is resolution on the horizon <laughs> okay so what am i to do today i have to take ami to it's this it's a masseuse i don't know if they're considered a masseuse but it's called cranio cranio sacral something I'll, I'll type it right here but um mckenzie's uh guy brother had um, a mild form of torticollis as well and so um his mom actually told me about this type of um massage that kind of it restarts like i guess the muscle memory and so she was like it really worked for him so i found one in atlanta and so i'm taking her today at two o'clock for that um yeah so today's gonna be go 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 but i was thinking i have got some of the house situated and I think I might start doing like a little um, little house tour. And so you guys let me know what you feel about that. Maybe I might do room by room. Um, well, I might just do the house because it's not completely decorated. So I don't think I have enough in each room. Like no room is fully complete outside of one of our guest rooms. Yeah, really, that's the only room that's fully complete. Everything has, every room has something in it, like the main... Uh, pieces but it's not fully complete so i might just do a full house tour um i'm gonna check with the hubster so i will see you guys later because i got some work to get done and so studying to do before i get ami and kenzie ready and i will talk to you guys later i hope you're having a blessed blessed weekend and you mothers out there that celebrated mother's day this weekend i appreciate you like there is nothing in the world like motherhood and so i'm blessed to be amongst you um but again y'all yeah, talk to you guys later um probably when i get the girls ready and we head out all right bye hi guys so i am on my way to ami's appointment um i'm like super late um because um my husband he had to go to pick up a chair for his uh office man cave thing <laughs> so we're a little late but i'm nervous not even because we're late but i haven't heard from the lady and i she told me that i was supposed to receive a confirmation text yesterday with like the location and everything like that i didn't receive that and then i've been calling all morning and it's like going straight to voicemail so I'm not, I'm not sure. And so I'm gonna get there like maybe 20, 25 minutes late. So I'm hoping that she'll see me or she has like a later appointment. I'm just hoping that she can be seen like for real, for real, because if not, then I'm just gonna have to look at another location or another place. Um, yeah. But I said, you know, sometimes you just show up 
so sometimes it works but if it doesn't then I will um, yeah I'll just try to find somebody else that can get her in because I don't want to wait you know much longer and then it's already there but yeah she's back there chilling I, you probably won't be able to see her Ami's back there chilling Kenzie is taking a nap so that's why I was hoping also that I would get back before her nap um, was over with uh, she is well um, our friends her godparents are there now but you know I don't want them to, them to watch her they're down here to vacation so they don't need no extra kids <laughs> so I'm trying to get here get back and um, yeah so hopefully the next shot would be me saying either it worked out some clips from the thing or <laughs> I'm going back home so alright y'all all right, hi guys. Good news, next clip is she got the massage. And when I tell you guys, I saw immediate results after she finished and she um, was explaining to me like what she was doing and every time Kenzie would make a, like a little, not Kenzie, Ami would make a little noise. Um, she was talking about how it was loosening up some of the muscles and yeah, it went really, really well. So I she suggested that i bring her a couple more times but that that in conjunction with pt she said within a month like it'll be fine because it's such a mild case but yeah so if you guys out there um have a baby with torticollis like i would highly highly recommend um cranio i think it's called cranio sac a cranio sacral um massage um the person that i went went to is in buckhead um I'll put her information down in the bottom, but yeah, it, w it went really good and it didn't. Now, every baby is different, but I mean, like, she was fine. She wasn't crying or anything like that. Um, so, she did say she might sleep a little longer today. So, <laughs> and I said, well, well, I don't mind that at all. So, now, I'm heading on back down to my side of town. I'm starving. Oh, my gosh. But, I'll see you guys when I get home. Whew. All right, hi guys. It's the next day, obviously, and it has been a very interesting and fun morning because, like I told you, uh, the kids' godparents are here and their godbrother is here, and they have been playing, playing well, playing nice. Little, here they go. Hey, everybody. Right? Oh, of course, she always wants to take over the camera. But yeah, they just got done with the um they got done eating and they I just recently bought Mackenzie, what is it called? A water table. So they were out there for a long time. Like just I mean when I it was time for me to bring them in, like both of them were like whining. So I gave them a few extra minutes to um play on the water table and then you know Ami was just sitting there chilling. And um, Noah, he's able to stand up, but I just stood behind him so he wouldn't fall. But they played at this, and of course, my daughter, thinking it's a bathtub, she got all. I turned my back for one second. She got all the way in it, like full body in in the, in the table. I was like, oh gosh. So I changed them both. Yeah. I, this little boy, oh my god, he's like the son I never had, <laughs> but. I changed, I just changed them all, put them on some new clothes, and we are about to do lunch, right, kids? Yeah, right? Yeah, you ready to eat lunch? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute, you ready to eat lunch? Yes, say give me the camera. Say give me the camera on me. <laughs> But yeah, like, they've been awesome together. Like, Noah, he hasn't been whining or crying. Kenzie, she's been, as long as Kenzie got something to do, she's fine. So, the plan is, I'm gonna feed them lunch. And then, neither, none of them have taken a nap. Well, Ami took a nap. But, um, I'm gonna see if Noah and Kenzie are trying to lay down after they eat lunch. Um, and then, I have some other activities for them to do when they get up. So I got so many activities, it's like gonna fill up the whole day. So they're fine. The guys are downstairs doing their little IT-ish stuff. And um, 
Yeah, I see why daycares have schedules because it kind of helps the time. It helps the time go by and it gives the kids like something to do. So I'm so glad her water table came here in time. Um, but yeah, let me get their lunches ready so that they can eat. We probably go in the playroom for a little while longer. And then I'm gonna see if the oldest two are tired by then. They should be tired. I thought they would be tired after that water table. But they should be tired by then. But all right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, the girls went out to the mall with Sara and my cousin, and I was able to get a much needed nap. So I just feel like a brand new woman. So now I'm just down here doing resume stuff. Um, I have a two day intensive training starting tomorrow in Midtown. So. Spending some time with Noah and yeah, just chilling out. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, yeah. Oh, and Lynn came by. I didn't even pick up the camera. I, I don't know why I be forgetting, but yeah, Lynn came by and we ate and talked about Game of Thrones. And I might be having, I might invite some people over for the um, Game of Thrones episode. Last episode of the season. Oh, I might do something Sunday. So I might. You might actually get an extra vlog out of me <laughs> if I do that, but we'll see. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. I will see you. I'll see you later. Bye.